Hey guys, Nebris here, and welcome to a single player let's play of Sid Meier's Civilization V The Brave New World Expansion. Okay, so I saw Pyro doing one of these, and I figured, you know what, let's hop on the bandwagon, let's do a Civ V let's play of our own. I've, uh, I've done one of these before on a live stream, but I figured, you know, it might be fun to do a let's play of it. Some people have been asking for one for a long time. And I, I play this game a lot, and might as well do at least one Let's Play of it. And hopefully, if it goes over very well, we will do a multiplayer one. Me and uh, Pyro and maybe someone else. I think I think Paul Soares Jr. has done one before. I think Packrat plays as well. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. So, <clears throat> we're going to set up the game. Here's what we got. We're going to do Random Civilization for everyone, including me. We're going to be on a Terra map, because that's the same map type that Pyro's doing. Uh, it's going to be a small map, six players. It's going to be on a King difficulty. Uh, Pyro's playing on Chieftain, I think. Now, I've, I've played on the higher difficulties. I, I don't find it as fun, because certain parts of the game are just... Uh, they're, they're taken away from you. Just because they have to cheat the AI. Such a huge start advantage that <laughs> it, it doesn't make the AI smarter, it just gives them a huge buff in the beginning. And it's, I don't find it as fun. Um, what else? Uh, we're going quick pace, so things will go nice and quickly. Uh, I've disabled the time victory type, because it's never fun when someone wins because you ran out of time. And last but not least, I have quick combat on, because I don't like to watch the combat animations. However, I'm going to turn this off because you guys probably might want to watch them. They're going to be on for the beginning, but maybe later on I'll, I'll turn them off. So, here we go. I'm going to pause <laughs> the recording right now in case I get an absolutely terrible start. That way I don't have to uh, re-record this part. So, I'll be right back and we will see the start of our Let's Play series. Here we go. Oh yeah, Russia. Greetings upon thee, your Imperial Majesty Catherine, wondrous Empress of all the Russias. At your command lies the largest country in the world. Mighty okay. Russia stretches from the Pacific Ocean. Oh, this is looking good. Oh, this is looking really good. I'm going to get a nice view of the surrounding area. Oh my god, this is looking so good. This is one of the best starts I've seen in a while. Oh yeah. Okay, so... I am getting lots of silver, apparently. And I'm starting off with two deer, and I'm very happy about that. Only downside is I've got these two marshes here, surrounded by forest. Terrain is going to be very difficult to navigate, so I'm going to get myself a scout. Actually, no. We're on a terra map, and it's small. I really don't have much scouting to do. I'm gonna build myself hmm I'm gonna build myself a monument of justice. And let's go pottery at the start. And end my turn. Alrighty, let's get this guy. And we've got ourselves weapons of justice already. This is this is an amazing start, I have to say. I wanna stay no, I wanna cross the river was very important. Most epic decision of all time. Crossing that river. It's going to allow us to see this new city-state that somebody's already found. What's up? This is uh, Nebuchadnezzar. He's alright. I, I see what looks to be the border of another player. Probably him. So I'm going to go across here and look what I found. So already I've found the spot that I want to expand to next. It's right here? Yeah, it's going to have to be right here. I'm going to get the sheep. I'm going to get all this desert. I'll, and I'll be able to hit the silver and the copper. As well as these guys. And I'll probably have to build Petra here. Looking forward to that. Alright, I get to see where barbarians are. Not that great a... St oh, there's another copper here. This changes things. 
So, okay, so I have one thing left in pottery here. That's going to allow me to build a granary. Now, early on, I, I do want to build a granary because I'm going to get to, to take advantage of three of these uh, deer camps. So that's what I want to do is build a granary. Unfortunately, it, I'm going to have to waste a turn or two on some warriors, so... Let's get those building. I sort of want to see what's up here. So I might switch over and build here. But then again, Nebuchadnezzar is right here. He's probably going to eat up that silver anyway. We'll see. We'll see. Choose research. I have a good shot at the Great Library, and I'm going to take it. Oh, this looks like such a good spot. Oh, I'm so happy with this start. There is so much goodness in it. Do I want to... Hmm. I might not build up here at all. I might plop down right here. This is a really good spot right here. It's going to get me all of this. And I could probably still na nab that silver from down here. Like, if that's a river spot, and I think it... Yeah, there's a river right there. This is probably going to be a good spot as well. So that's two spots I already want to expand to. I might want to consider going Liberty. However, Tradition is generally a very good thing to go with early on. I believe I already have the uh, Monument. Hmm... I think I'm going to go with Tradition. It's a, it's just such a good good way to start. Okay. Didn't really reveal too much there. I think I'm going to go there and there next. But I kind of want this warrior to start exploring. Ooh, salt. I love salt. Okay. Ooh, I'm right by the coast here. So the thing I really want to do now is get this granary up. What's what's going to happen here is once this granary pops, these two are going to give me extra food. So I'm going to have lots of citizens working these two. I'll get tons of food and, and, and a decent amount of production early on. Ooh. I'm really excited about this start. I'm actually kind of regretting not going, uh... Ooh, ooh. That's some serious business. Pachoo! Fire! Still want to do more exploring. But the thing I want to do next is get this aristocracy. This is going to help me build the Great Library, super fast. So now I'm competing with uh, this lady here. I'm probably not going to get that salt. It's a shame, really. I'm just going to continue to fight these guys. Moscow alone can take care of them. I don't have a, a, a worker unit to worry about. Uh, next up, I, I definitely want to do mining. Would you be interested in a job? Yeah, what's up, Elizabeth? Oh, yeah. I definitely need to do something. I, I need to... I'm not going to get that salt, I know it. Unless I go up here, maybe. Might be able to snag that one. Oh, well. Choo. You are a city-state, but I'm not the first to discover you, so I don't get all the gold I could get. Oh no, getting surrounded here. But I am going to find another set of ruins. Alright, those guys are taken care of. Does Biblios have a worker I can steal? 
am I going to get? More culture. That's always a good thing. Choose production. We're going to go straight to the Great Library. We're not going to need any of these luxuries right away, but... Ooh. Uh, let's just go ahead and pop legalism. We can't take advantage of it quite yet, but later on it'll be there for us. Uh, we want to do animal husbandry because we get bonus production from horses. Laventa. Ooh, I might get a uh, pantheon out of this. So just just looking at other spots I might want to expand to. This one right here doesn't look all that bad. I'll be able to get this uh, these dyes and these cattle. But I still have to see where the horses are going to be. So next turn. Oh, so I'm going to see this. this. They left their workers right here. I'm just going to take them, so... Declare war! And I'm just going to snatch them. Watch this, watch this, this is... Oh, hello, William. I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of William. He's mean. He's always mean to me. So mean to me. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to make peace with him already. There. One second war, I've stolen your worker glorious day for me. So, just looking at the map, I'm gonna... S where are you gonna go? You're gonna go right here. It's a good spot. I'm gonna put my first guy right here. He's gonna get a lot of desert. I'm gonna put another guy here. He's gonna get a lot of desert. But at the, at the moment... I will benefit most from uh, religious idols, I believe. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go with religious idols, unless I want Goddess of the Hunt. I don't have camps at the moment, though. And that's only going to benefit me there. Hmm. Hmm, this is a good question. What do I want to do? I think I'm going to go with idols. Free culture and faith. Since I don't have the faith building right now. Alright, let's see where the horses are. So, Levent is pretty much guaranteed to get this set of horses. I... Moscow cannot reach this set. And that I'm not going to be able to take advantage of my horses early on, which is kind of bad. So what do I want to do? Let's let's uncover iron because. Geloof dat ik iets heb wat u enig belang. The moment we uncover iron, we're going to be able to uh, make use of that resource. There's some silver there. So this is looking like a really good spot to expand to. I still have to also find a coastal spot. I might want to just take Amsterdam. Although, yeah, that's a terrible spot. I think ultimately I want to take London. That's probably going to be the way to go. Ooh, it's looking better and better. Bogota. Wait, I thought I saw a border here. I was wrong. Oh, hello there. It's Montezuma. Everyone's least favorite uh, <laughs> warmonger. Hmm. So I'm looking, I see, 
I see a few good spots to, uh, to expand to. And I definitely want to do this one first. I might be able to even buy those horses if I get it done soon enough. Oh, that guy lost the scout. That's sad. I'm just gonna scout with these warriors. Alright, there's uh there's hit. Alright. Where's the iron at? There's some iron there. Some iron there. This is looking even better of a spot. Some iron there. So I may end up having to plop down here anyhow. Uh Hi -ya. Stab him in the face. No. I am going to start getting myself a luxury resource. Uh, what else can I do at the moment? I guess trapping will be nice once once I get uh, the ability to take advantage of these guys. Unfortunately, I have to cross the river and kill him. It's no fun. Because I don't want him taking my uh, workers. Adopt policy. Let's get some growth going on. Can always benefit from additional growth. Ooh, this is good. I'm going to be at six workers, or six population by the time this thing finishes. And that means I'm going to be able to have even more resources available when I start constructing my settler, which I'm going to plop down right here as soon as I can. Let's go. You should really be open. Step, 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 step. Oh no. I was hoping he'd kill them. But that did not happen. Keep working. See, this guy either has to go through the forest, which is going to drain both of his movement points, or he's going to have to go through the tundra. And because this guy's here, it'll drain... Uh, both of his movement points to go there, so he cannot get these workers. And unfortunately, their his clearing is throwing this off. So, oh no, that's not gonna work. Actually, that might. Can I swap this to food focus? No, that's just not gonna happen. Oh well. Let's finish this library and be done with it. Library. So I'm going to move him into my area. Oh, this is looking like a good spot too. I'm going to go hit that and that resource. I'm going to move him to my into my area so he heals faster. So I'm going to choose a free technology. Ooh, what do I want? Colossus? I'm not going to be able to take advantage of that anytime soon. Drama and poetry. Actually, I am going to be able to take care of that soon. Hi. I'm going to get a sword pretty quick. So what is this? A crepost. Gold cost of acquiring new tiles is reduced. That's not bad. But I am here for one reason. I, I really need to get this settler out. Otherwise, uh, London is going to scoop that good spot from me. So I need to get that now. Uh-oh. So this archer is going to hit him, and it's going to force the issue. I'm going to have to engage in combat. Get myself an archer. 
I think if I expand here, he's going to be very vulnerable right off the bat. Oh, he didn't attack me. That's good. I do not want to fight him where he is, because I'd have to cross a river, and that's just going to do some unnecessary damage. So what else can I do? Let's... Let's get the wheel! Everyone loves wheels. Wheels are awesome. Let's move you down here. Hmm, there's salt there. This is not a bad... Oh no, there's a city right there. I may end up basing here, but at, at this point... I'm sort of biting off a lot more than I can probably chew in terms of bases. So we'll see. We might just take Mombasa and plop a citadel right there or something. Alright, you are gonna rest. Oh, they're making that really tempting. Mm. If this guy were right here, that would be such a good spot. Alright. Unit. You. Sure, why not? Let's get some more silver, see what we can trade. Alright, this guy. We're taking a beeline for the best spot ever. We're not going to get those horses, darn. Choose production. Well, let's take a look at these guys. We might be able to pull off the Temple of Artemis. We can see a lot of other people's capitals. No one else appears to be building it. However, I don't see Babylon. I don't see their capital. Let's go for it. Choose research. Let's uh let's get calendar. It's about that time. Alright, I'm gonna have him protecting me for this long and arduous journey. This guy can't hit him because there's a river there. Unfortunately, I need to protect my uh, silver here, so I'm not going to be able to uh, follow. But that's okay. Alright, we've taken care of that. Let's do... Oh boy. Uh, let's move on to mathematics. I'm gonna try not to wonder or oh, Hello. Hello. Where are you at? Oh <laughs> That's what you get from Wonder Horn. That's okay though. Alright, so we're not going to get that. We're probably not going to get Stonehenge either. Let's focus on ourselves. And get a watermill. Hi. Oh, I was hoping he'd stay there. I do not have Raging Barbarians on, but it kind of feels like it right now. Next turn. We're 
just gonna finish this guy off. Oh, and we're about to get a whole bunch of happiness points. Bam. Three. Geloof dat ik iets heb wat u enig belang zal inboezemen. All right, this guy's offering me iron. It's not a good deal. Oh, got him. That's not bad. I'm gonna take it. All right, I'm gonna go right ahead and plop St. Petersburg down. There's Babylon. He's got salt. I'm gonna send him over. Hopefully this guy doesn't get intercepted along the way. It's very tempting to go for Stonehenge right now. But I doubt it's not being constructed. I mean, this guy's already going after the pyramids. Actually, I can see everyone's base. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. No one's making Stonehenge. Let's go for it. Uh, first thing I want to do... I will probably benefit the most from a granary, because I'm going to have three granary resources very soon. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm not going to I'm not going to build anywhere near you anymore. I've got what I need. All right, he's going to get the drill promotion. If I want to go here, oh, this is going to be dangerous. I'm taking a risk. I think it can pay off. The earlier I get Petra on this guy, the better. Ooh, that could be good. However, new. Let's go with... Philosophy. I've always loved philosophy. He's getting surrounded. All three of these guys are going to attack me. I'm going to live. Oh no, he didn't attack. This guy desperately needs to retreat home. So I am going to move him here. That way, neither of these can attack, but this guy can. He'll lose, though, if he does. And I can safely put myself on this mountain. I can't wait till I get Petra. Oh my god, is it going to be good. And this... Hmm, this would be a good spot to build a, a base. But this is already taken. It's not a great spot. It's, it's just a good one. Next turn. Oh. Sure, why not? All right, what's you move over there? I, th I might want to steal another uh, worker from this guy. Although he's still very angry at me. Hiya! I'm gonna keep healing this guy up, though. He cannot hit him, so I feel safe. Oh, that's not cool. How come this... This this is the most hyperactive encampment in history. It's not even fair. So I've retreated to my area. So I'm gaining 20 health. I'm not getting damaged as much as 20. So, okay, what do I want to do? Let's bust out. Hmm. I think I might have to go with an archer. No, it's a bit late for an archer. Let's build a crepost, or whatever that is. No. 
I don't have any aspirations for you, Babylon, but I might now. I was gonna take London. There. Okay. What's going on? We got philosophy. We're gonna get... Let's get masonry. So here's what I need to do. I need to get myself construction so I can get some compound crossbowmen of justice. Get wrecked. This could expose me to a bad guy, but it didn't. I feel good. Because I desperately need this copper now. See if I can't take out this encampment. And in the meantime, can we do another settler? No, that's too dangerous. We have a lot to gain from the hanging gardens, though, so let's uh, plop those out and get construction. So these guys are just going to stand here and tank these two ranged units. <clears throat> They're, they are going to slowly lose health, but they'll stay alive long enough for, for my purposes. Ah, sorry, I had to cough. Once construction pops, I'm going to use this bank that I've saved up and buy them off. They're on the move. That's not good. I'm just going to do a little bit of damage to them. After next turn, I'm going to have to retreat again, which is sad. But I actually, I, I do want to cap that iron as, as soon as I can. That iron's gonna allow me to level this uh, this warrior up into a swordsman, which is very much needed at the moment. I'm gonna take a pot shot at this guy. That's probably not a good idea. Never mind. I'll just be patient and uh, wait for this guy. Right, now that I now that I got a arranged unit. Things are going to be much better for me. Let's give him that. And let's do currency so this guy can start exploiting it. Oh, hello there, Venice. Or Carthage. Why did I think it was Venice? Well, I'm going insane. Purple. Venice is also purple. He's the doge. Don't mess with the doge. Also, because it's a strategic resources, I get uh, a little buff from it. Pop you there. Oh, these guys are strong, like you wouldn't believe. Alright, we are going to pop the Tradition Finisher. That's going to give us uh, extra growth and a free aqueduct in my first four cities, which is very nice to have, especially when I'm going to combine it with the Hanging Gardens. I'm going to have... Moscow is going to be a high population city. I finish them? No, I cannot. That's no good. Yes, I can. Alright, what's up? Next turn. 
Oh no! Oh, this guy is just spamming cities. Oh. oh, hello there, William. Next turn. Let's be friends. Oh, I like William. That's a cool guy. All right, that's good. I like I like what just happened. Pew pew. Okay, I'm about to found a religion. That's a good thing, guys. Totally a good thing. So, let's get these aqueducts. Found a religion. We're going to call this Tron. It's the religion of Tron. <laughs> uh, I always go with Tithe and Pagodas, because Pagodas are awesome. They give you free happiness, which is really cool. And we'll pop, uh, we'll pop this last uh, wonder, and then call it an episode. Oh yeah, Hanging Gardens. It's all ours. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.